All right, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we will just have two more sessions to go from like not including this one and we will be done. So it's a Mulesa from Start collection. We have articles, we have comments, we have writers and we have categories. So these are all of the get and post and put and delete <laughs> methods that we had. I was working on some improvements to the code. As I told you uh, last week, that it was not fair for me to ask you to finish the implementation because it was a lot of things to do. So I said that I would finish it and I did not. <laughs> but I, I ended up doing some improvements to the code. I think I finished the categories resource and I changed some of the articles resource. So you will be able to do to check what I did and it's on this commit. Let's get all of the articles. So, okay, right now I have ID six and that's all. I only have one. So if I try to get that article, which is ID six, then it, it works. It returns me the ID six and this is at 200. Okay. But if I, for example, try to search for ID one, which doesn't exist, then this is going to return a 404 not found because that's how I made it. And now here the error code is 404, the description, the ID you're using to retrieve information does not exist. Try a different ID. This is how I decided to set it up. And then also with the put, I believe if I try to put for ID one, this doesn't work. It says again, the ID you're using to retrieve does not exist. Um, if I try to delete an ID that doesn't exist like one, it's just not going to say anything because there's no content being returned anyway. That's how I decided to make it, but that's fine. You can make it whatever you want. So we said it was what? ID six. So let me delete the ID six because I want to show you how the other things work. Now, if I retrieve all of them, I have an empty array. I decided not to return a 404 here. But because I just want to be able to see here that there are no articles, but you can change this. Just you just have to put the other flow there as well. All right. So now we can create a new one and notice that even though I put here ID three, it's not going to put ID three because um, I don't want it to be um, uh, to the ID to be, I want the IDs to be unique. So now it's not taking into account this ID. It's just creating its own ID in the flow. So this category is exercise. For example, let's get the categories. If I get all the categories that I have right now, I already have exercise. So if I want to delete it, I can send here exercise. Okay. It says it went well, and now if I try to retrieve it, it's empty. So, okay, I have no categories now. So let's create this article, the importance, the importance of regular exercise, category exercise. And if I create it, it says, yay, create it. And notice the ID. I have sent the ID three, and this is the ID seven, because it's just keeping the count going. So now I have this article. If I try to retrieve it, it says that the ID seven is there. It exists. And now if I try to retrieve the categories, now I have the category exercise. If I try to create another article, let's say the importance of data weave. And let's say the category is data weave. So now we send it to create it. And if we get everything, now we have ID seven, regular exercise, category exercise, and then ID eight, the importance of data weave, category data weave. So now we have our two articles. And if I try to get now all of the categories, now we have exercise and data weave. And then what I want to do now is to be able to send this to Cloud Hub because now I see that this is a working first draft. 
I checked it on my local, it makes sense on my local, so now I want to send it to dev for other people to try or to test or whatever. So the manual way to do it, which is the easier way if you're just getting started, um, you have everything saved, just right click here on your project and then select um, any point platform and then here deploy to cloud hub so we're gonna send that there sometimes it happens so if i go to any point studio settings any point studio any point platform no authentication yeah authentication okay so how can i oh, remove okay remove 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 i'm just gonna remove all of my accounts and add so now uh, martinez 22 sign in okay so i'm signed in applying close let's see if that helps any point platform deployed to cloud hub yes that helped okay perfect so now it's gonna tell me you're gonna deploy this application called maxine's blog yes and then where do you want to deploy it i want it to be cloud hub 2 or you can also select cloud hub 1 but i'm gonna select cloud hub 2 and i can only select the share space in us east ohio so that's fine um, application file will be uploaded from this project runtime I'm gonna leave everything as is use object store version 2 because I am using object store deployment model just let's just leave it like that ingress nothing there properties there is something we have to add to properties but I will get back to that all right so everything else is good so i'm gonna all right so in properties now we're gonna create the environment property and this value is now gonna be dev instead of it being local so now this property is gonna override the property we had that said local you can also protect it i don't want to because i want to be able to see which environment i'm in and I don't have any passwords or anything that I need to protect at this point. So let's just deploy application. Perfect. It doesn't normally take this long, but okay. We can close the window now. This is going to be deploying here. Now we just wait. Um, oh, but we can get already the public endpoint. You can see it here in settings or also if you go to dashboard, you will also be able to see it here in the URL. So whichever you want to take, um, just copy this one. Let's go to our environments and in dev, let's change this now. So this is current value that and then slash API. Oops. And that's it. That is our new URL. We can save this and then we will be able to try it. All right, so let's check this out. We will be able to change to dev now here. And now this will be connecting to Cloud Hub instead of localhost. Oh, it started. Yes, <laughs> finally. Okay, so now we can try it. From here, we should have nothing there because we're on dev now. Oh no, it's not connecting. Logs. Oh, it did. Okay. Let me just move this here. Okay, so trying again. All right, perfect. And now it should appear in the logs. Yes. Yes. Starting this thing, ending this thing. Okay, perfect. So we are here. And I think... Yeah, we can also check out the object store from here. Um, 
Right now we have nothing because we haven't created anything yet. So if we use the get, we have nothing. If we use the get categories, we have nothing. So now we have to create something. So let's post an article. The importance of regular exercise. Um, the ID doesn't matter. And the category is exercise. So let's send this. This was created. The ID is one because this is our very first article that we create in the dev environment. So now if we try to get the categories, we have exercise. Perfect. And now if we try to check here, now we have object store and now we have keys because now we have something that we created. We have articles. Um, I think we cannot see what's here. No, we can't. Okay. But we have articles, we have categories. Yeah, we can see. And we have next article ID. And the sweet thing about this is that we can simply delete stuff from here. So we can delete all of the things from here to try it again. So right now we have one article, right? If I check this out, we have one article with ID number one. But if I want to just restart everything, I can just remove all of the keys. Delete three keys. Yes, I understand. Delete. And now we go to square one. We have no articles and we have no categories. So if again I try to post one article, I will again have ID number one because I restarted everything. ID number one. For example, if I restart just articles and categories, delete, yes, I understand, delete, but I don't remove the next article ID, then the ID that's going to be created is ID number two, right? So if I get the articles, I have nothing. If I get the categories, I have nothing. But if I post a new article, now the ID is number two because I didn't restart that. I have the ID number two and the categories, I have exercise category. So that's the sweet thing about having these things on the cloud. I can't control that. Um, I'm sure there are ways to control it in your local, but they're not as neat as this one. So that's the cool thing. I'm just gonna remove everything again. That's all for today then. I'm sorry that I was not able to show you API manager working. I just don't know why this is not running. But for the next session, I will show you what went wrong with this and how I fixed it. So I will change API manager for the next session and then we'll do CACD with GitHub Actions. So every time that you publish something to uh, GitHub, it will automatically create the new thing. Um, also, no, that's all. That's all we'll do for the next session. So API Manager and CICD. Perfect. I hope this was helpful. We did get to do a lot of other stuff like troubleshoot. <laughs> um, and I'll create more posts uh, from everything that I learned today. So that's cool. All right. I will see you then on the next session on August the 2nd for session number eight. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you then. Bye.